What's going on, feelers? Well, we're back on the uh, 300. It is hollering in Dickens. Right now it's um, mid-80s, but the humidity is like 95%. And the dew points, uh, I think it's like 70 or 75% right now. This is the first time I've been up here. This is my local riding area near home. It's the first time I've been up here in probably a month and a half. Everything is green. And it's all weeds now. Uh, we're just going for a little ride today. Just basically check out the main trail. I uh, might try the single track then. I got uh, a portable folding hand saw today with me in case I need it because we had a bunch of storms lately and we had a ton of rain um, anyone that lives in PA Pennsylvania knows what I'm talking about Lancaster County where I'm from we had uh, over 10 inches of rain in the last uh, close to a month and the heat has just been unreal 90 degrees getting near 100 different times you, you can see like I said it's been a while that I've been up here this is the main trail my single track cuts through right there comes out Sorry for not putting any uh, content or anything out, but I seriously have not been riding at all. It's been that stinking hot and raining. And the humidity where I live is just unreal. I'm sweating pretty good now and it's... I'm not even doing anything. Just coasting along. Just checking things out. Hunting season is getting close. Uh, I'm a, like I said before, I'm a big archery hunter and self filmer. So, September 29th is my first day of archery. So that's going to be pretty much my end of my, holy smokes, that's going to be the end of my riding until later in the fall. I'm a good old country boy, work hard, play hard, and my family, we live off the land. So going to the grocery store and buying beef and stuff like that isn't really in our vocabulary. We live off deer meat and turkey and fish and everything that we hunt, so. I am ready to throw some uh, ice tires on this bike and see what she'll do. On the snows. Talking to my talking to Eric. I normally uh, ride with my cousin. He rides a quad. Was just talking to him yesterday. He's at the mountains right now, chillaxing, fishing, and playing in a kayak. And he said he wants to do one more ride, one more weekend ride, somewhere. And we're thinking about going to Rock Run. I was out there last year at this exact time. Right now there's summer bashes going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Or going to uh, uh, Mountain Ridge ATV, which is, I would say, half an hour or slow. 
Some Rock Run, which is near like Somerset, PA, Pittsburgh, up that area. Or we just might break down and go back to uh, AOAA again. Not sure. But I'd like to get one more good ride in before hunting season. Man, it is thick. Since we had all that rain and whatnot, it is like ice. It's a lot of small rocks. And you just skate across it. I'm still running my factory tires, so not the greatest. Not the exact compound you want to be running this time. They're not sticky at all. Ow! I did sharpen my foot pegs the other day. Uh, these stock Husky foot pegs in KTM are really narrow. And they kind of hurt my feet. Between the foot pegs and the seat is the only two things I don't like about this bike. And I recently shaved off a half of an inch off my seat, so I lowered it. And it seems better so far. And the foot pegs. I sharpened them so my boots are sticking quite a bit now, which is a lot better. Try this little part of the single track up here. If we can. But I'm looking at a uh, fast way foot pegs. I think they're called the Evolution 4. They're steel foot pegs with adjustable cleats in them. And they're, they're wider. They would be more like your regular Enduro type foot peg. Get more traction. And I'm actually talking about it my feet hurt now these pegs these stock pegs suck there's no other they're so narrow they're a little pricey they're uh i seen on rocky mountain atv i order 99 percent of my stuff they're like 142 dollars which ain't bad. And you can buy, you can, you can also lower your foot peg by half an inch. Like don't want to turn. So you can actually go down and back half of an inch too. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to stay in a higher gear today. Lower revs. Sit is slick. So nice to be back on the bike. So peaceful. Follows me. Where you guys ride? Um, and where are you from? I'd really like to know where my uh, where you guys are are from and ride. Uh, let me know what for. <coughs> excuse me. What for uh, trails and stuff do you ride? You ride in moto. If you're watching me, you're probably. A trail rider or maybe a hair scrambler or GNCC or something like that I don't know let me know 
Love to chat with you guys. Uh, you can always email me if you want. I'll put my email description down below in the description. And if you're if you leave in live in PA or somewhere close, maybe we can meet up and ride. Definitely would love that. I don't have too many people to ride with anymore. Got Mike Mo and Manny. Them guys are from New York and guys are a blast. Definitely have a good time with them guys. Hopefully I get to ride with you guys soon. But well, I'm just gonna make a couple passes here. I ain't doing nothing special. I might venture on the single track a little bit and see if there's any down trees and do some trail maintenance. So until next time, fellers, <clears throat> ride safe and ride hard. Yeah, yeah.